Hi Taurus, this is your horoscope for May 2018. Thanks for joining me. It's really nice to be with you today. Now, in May, Mars is in Aquarius, and that's in your ninth house. Mars is the male principle of drive and desire. In Aquarius, it really wants to be of service to humanity and it's thinking and it's driven towards learning more things. And the ninth house is the house of expansion and growth. So you're gonna have a really strong desire to learn, to travel and to expand your horizons for the sake of helping humanity and being of service. Now, that planet squares Uranus, the planet of rebellion and eccentricity, which is in Aries and Taurus this month, and that sits in your 12th house, and the relationship they form lasts all month long, okay? So, you're gonna feel conflicted. On one hand, you're going to really uh, want to delve into your own spirituality, but that is going to lead you to learning new things which are then going to help humanity. So, if you feel conflicted, should I focus on my own spiritual development or should I do things for others? Go with your own spiritual practice because that's going to lead you to take the next right step in terms of helping other people anyway. Now, from the 1st of May until the 14th of May, the sun is in your sign of Taurus because it's your birthday month and that sits in your first house. So you're going to feel very comfortable in your own skin. This is your, the time of year that you love the most usually. Um, and the sun opposes Jupiter in Scorpio, which is in your seventh house of relationships. So Jupiter is good luck and good fortune. The seventh house is relationships. So by feeling good in yourself, you put out, you put your best foot forward. And that means that other people are going to respond to you really positively when it comes to relationships. That's any kind of relationship, working relationships, family relationships romantic relationships and that's really the big luck factor that you've got this month. Jupiter in Scorpio in the seventh also trines Neptune, the water planet of dreams and intuition, which is in Pisces in your 11th house all month. Now the 11th house is the house of hopes and dreams being realized. Jupiter in Scorpio, again in your seventh, is good luck when it comes to your relationships. So you, out of all of the signs, Taurus, you can really manifest the type of romantic, loving, soulmate relationship that you want just by being clear on what you want and then putting that into a bubble and visualizing it kind of fly away into the universe so you put your order into the universe and you manifest what it is you want very easy easily this month on the 15th of may we have the new moon in your sign of taurus in your first house so you're going to feel amazing during this new moon. I'm going to make separate videos on the new moon and the full moon just to give you more info. But just so you know, it happens in your first house of self. So even more energy is going to be pulled into your sector of who I am, confidence, uh, well-being, comfort in one's own skin. All of those things are going to be heightened. On the 16th of May, we've got Uranus, the planet of rebellion and eccentricity and the miraculous and unexpected that moves into Taurus in your first house and it's going to stay there until 2025. Now Uranus has been in Aries since 2011 and it only changes signs once every seven years so this is really significant. It's going to stay in Taurus your sign until 2025 so the miraculous and unexpected is going to take shape in the form of money or things to do with the earth or practical matters. The last time this happened, Uranus being in um, Taurus, was between 1935 and 1942. And, you know, you don't need to be a big history buff to realize that that wasn't a great period. Uh, uh, there was the Great Depression in the States, World War II was um, raging and King Edward VIII abdicated. It's because Taurus rules money and finances, the earth, art and creativity. And when Uranus brings chaos into all of that, you can see things like that happening. But just because it was t negative last time doesn't mean it's gonna be negative this time. It could be that there are major unexpected advancements in the way we work. I think there's gonna be a big change when it comes to AI in 2020, 2021 anyway. Um, but it could have effects on finances, the stock market, 
unexpected things could happen there. Um, anything to do with the physical world, the earth, there could be more extreme weather on the way. All of those kind of things can happen with Uranus in Taurus. On the 29th of May, we've got a full moon in Sagittarius and that's in your eighth house. So you're really going to, at the end of the month, you really want a sense of freedom and you don't want to be locked into anything. So make sure that at the end of the month, you have a bit of time and space to make your own decisions. So that's what I get for you here in May. If you would like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you next month.